If you're involved in a real estate transaction and you need a survey, you want to make sure that you hire a real boundary surveyor, right? not an imitation. And uh, that's really important because if you don't get a good boundary survey as part of your transaction, it can cause a lot of problems down the road. So how do you know what a real boundary surveyor looks like? If you're not a boundary surveyor, how do you know? Well, most surveyors are not boundary surveyors. Uh, most land surveyors are actually construction surveyors. So the majority, the bulk, I don't know, 70% of the licensed surveyors uh, in California, at least, uh, make most of their money from construction surveying. So that's basically the, the, the layout of uh, uh, design improvements. Uh, you're going to build something, the surveyor comes and he lays out the improvements on the site. Uh, there are a few surveyors that are what I call 3D surveyors. So they specialize in stuff like um, terrestrial laser scanning and LIDAR data processing and uh, 3D modeling. Uh, one of my partners is that kind of surveyor. He's a 3D surveyor. Um, and then you have a few, a few surveyors or what I call earth surveyors. So they focus on what we call geodesy. You know, they define the shape of the earth. Um, they, they work on really big surveys, uh, doing, doing what we call uh, survey control, establishing survey control. So none of those folks are boundary surveyors. So construction surveyors, 3D surveyors, earth surveyors or geodesists, uh, none of those folks specialize in boundary surveying. And chances are, if you're involved in a real estate transaction of one kind or another, uh, you need a boundary surveyor. That, that, that's the type of surveyor that you need. So you wanna make sure that you get a real boundary surveyor. What happens if you don't? What happens if you hire one of those other kinds of surveyors to do your boundary survey? Well, it can cause major problems. Um, if, you, if you imagine it this way, what if 90% of the cash in circulation in the United States was counterfeit? That would cause major problems, right? Like our economy would grind to a halt. And so, you know, if you think about what I just told you, 90% of the surveyors, licensed surveyors in the United States um, are not real boundary surveyors, right? And the reason this becomes a problem is because boundary surveys that are done by those that are not experts at boundary surveys, uh, but are licensed surveyors and do other kinds of surveys, when those individuals come and do a boundary survey, oftentimes they mess it up. Um, and they shouldn't do that. Just to be clear, licensed surveyors should not practice outside what we call their area of competence, but it happens all the time. So I'll give you an example. This just happened. Uh, we're working on a, a small uh, development project here in Modesto, and the client hired a surveyor from Southern California to come up and do a survey early on in the project. Uh, they did the survey, they gave it to the client, it was, a, it was a boundary survey. And the client went back to the surveyor and said, hey, we're moving forward, we're ready to go to the next step, we want you guys, you know, we need to do a subdivision map and we need to do some other work. And that surveyor, they, the first surveyor they hired said, no, we don't want to be involved in all that. So we got brought in to the project to, to basically come in and finish. And we started looking at this other company's survey and it, it was not good, right? They did not do good work. So. You know, they, did, they didn't look for all the property corner monuments. We had fences that were off by as much as 15 feet. That never got communicated to the civil engineer. The parcel ended up being landlocked. Um, the driveway was over another parcel and they didn't have a legal right to, to cross that other parcel to get to the public road. So there was all kinds of problems that this other surveyor had missed. Now, why is that? Well, I suspect it's because they're not a good, they're not a good boundary surveyor. They're not, they're not a real boundary surveyor. They do primarily other types of work. And it's really a shame when that happens because essentially when you're, a, when you're a licensed surveyor and you practice outside your area of competence, um, you're really betraying the public trust there, right? So in this case, my, my client hired a licensed surveyor that said he could do a certain job um, and then they, and he didn't. He, in this case, it was a he. He failed to do a good job, right? So that's a horrible situation. So you as the client, you don't want to put yourself in that situation. You want to know that you're hiring a real boundary surveyor. So how do you do that? So I've got 10 ways you know you've got a real boundary surveyor, right? That you've either, you've either hired one or you're about to hire one. So these are the 10 things. Now, in this video, I'm just going to give you the first five. Okay, I'll do a second video with the other five. So here's the first five ways you can tell you've got a real boundary surveyor, not some of those other, not one of those other kinds of surveyors. Okay, number one, a real boundary surveyor is going to want to evaluate some physical evidence. And I don't want to get too technical, 
Uh, but what that means is a real boundary surveyor, he's going to want to be out on the site. Okay, he's going to want to look at the property corner monuments. He's going to want to look at the what we call the physical occupation along the boundaries of the parcel. He's going to want to evaluate the, the potential for unwritten rights. And the only way to do that is to get out on the ground, right? So I tell my clients all the time here at Redefine Horizons, licensed surveyor hits the boots. His boots hit the ground, sorry, on every, every boundary survey we do. So that's really important to us. That's something we think set, sets us apart from those other surveyors. Second thing, a real boundary surveyor is going to know the law. Um, you know, the, the, the boundary surveying is, is deeply tied to the legal system here in the United States. Everything a boundary surveyor does uh, is related to the law in some way, and real estate law and land law, and he needs to be thinking about that or she needs to be thinking about that. And so, you know, what does that mean? You know, if, you're, if your surveyor knows the law, that means uh, he's probably got a relationship with one or more land attorneys. Uh, it's very hard to be a good boundary surveyor, to be a real boundary surveyor in our modern era and not have to occasionally work with a good land attorney. So he's going to know a land attorney. He's going to understand things like the Subdivision Map Act and uh, the land use regulations uh, that impact your project. And, you know, hopefully he's somebody that knows how to research and read what we call common law or case law or court-made law. So he knows how to use a, a law library. He knows how to brief a case. You know, he knows, he knows how to uh, research and find answers to legal questions that come up in his practice. Um, and very few surveyors actually know how to do that, but that's an important part of being a good boundary surveyor, in my opinion. You need to know the law. Okay, here's the third way. You know, you got a real boundary surveyor. A real boundary surveyor looks at the neighbors. So what does that mean? Uh, is he trying to figure out if, you're, if your neighbors are tall or short or, or pretty or ugly? No, that's not what I mean. What I mean is when a, when a real boundary surveyor does a survey, she's going to go in and look at all of the, the neighboring parcels, the parcels around the parcel that's being surveyed. And she's going to look at their deeds and she's going to look at past surveys of those parcels. And she's going to look at the, uh, the physical improvements that have been built along the common boundary lines. And she's going to want to evaluate all that. And that's something that, you know, these kind of fly by night, wham, bam, you know, get her done surveyors, they're not going to do that, right? They're just going to go in, they're going to look at your deed, they're going to look at maybe surveys of your parcel, but they're not going to look at anything going on with the neighbors. Okay, the fourth way that you know you've got a real surveyor, a real boundary surveyor, is a real boundary surveyor is going to tell you that they're going to prepare and file a map of their boundary survey. So now there may be some rare circumstances where they don't need to file a copy of the survey here in California, we do that with the county surveyor. That's where it gets filed. But in 95% in of cases, if a surveyor is doing a boundary survey for you, he should, be prepare, he should be preparing and filing a map of his survey with the county. Now, even if he's in, a, in one of those, he or she is in one of those rare situations where they don't have to file a survey with the county, they should still be preparing a map of the survey and providing that to you, right? That's the work product. Um, and, and I don't care what else he's doing. If he's setting the property corners or setting your stakes for a new fence, or he's doing a land title survey so you can get your loan, he should still be providing you with a, with a map of his survey or her survey at the, end of the, at the end of the process. And I'm often surprised at how many times I talk to folks who have hired a surveyor and they paid you know, good money for a boundary survey, maybe, maybe a few thousand dollars, maybe several thousand dollars, maybe more, and they don't get a map when the surveyor is all done. There's, there's no map, there's no technical report, uh, the, the surveyor just kind of she just kind of disappears into the sunset, okay? So that's not good. So you can ask your surveyor before you hire him, are you gonna prepare a map of my survey? Are you gonna provide that to me? Are you gonna file it with the county? I think that's something that you, that you wanna ask. You don't have to be embarrassed about asking that. You should ask it. You should ask that before you hire a surveyor. Okay, the fifth way, this is the, the, the last way we'll talk about in this video. The fifth way, you know you've got a real boundary surveyor is a real boundary surveyor isn't gonna give you a bid. So I get, I get people call my office on a regular basis and say, I'm looking for a bid for a boundary survey. It's usually a realtor. It's not always, but it's usually a realtor, occasionally an engineer. And a good boundary surveyor just isn't going to do that. Uh, he's not going to give you a bid. Uh, that's something that construction surveyors do all the time. So construction surveyors regularly give bids. Um, I don't think it's a good idea, but they do it. It's kind of standard practice in that part of the profession. Good boundary surveyors don't give bids. Why not? Well, because a good boundary surveyor knows he's never going to be the cheapest, right? One of these other kinds of surveyors can, a construction surveyor can always come in, cut corners and give you a cheaper price, right? And it's very hard to know that 
if you're not already an expert. So good boundary surveyors, they just don't compete on low bid. So there you go, there's five ways you know that you're about to hire a real boundary surveyor, right? I'm gonna review them real quick. Boundary surveyor, a real one, wants to get out on the ground and evaluate physical evidence. He's gonna know the law. He or she is gonna know the law. They're gonna take a look at your neighbors, right? They're not just gonna look at your parcel, they're gonna look at the parcels around your parcel that they're surveying. Um, they're gonna prepare and file a map with the county or at least provide you a copy of the map. And they're not gonna submit a bid for your work. Ask your surveyor those questions before you hire them to be involved in part of a real estate transaction. I'll do another video that talks about five more ways you can know that you've got a real boundary surveyor and not one of those imitations.